Good evening. Welcome to Vishwabhaini Television this time. As uh, you may know, I do an English program for Vishwabhaini Radio each Monday night at 7 o'clock. And um, I'm currently down in Victoria. To, um, I came down to see a friend of mine who is in hospital, uh, Ron Nicholas. Uh, and uh, Bandhu has given me the opportunity of uh, doing a couple of interviews for TV. So welcome to Vishwabhaini TV. And uh, I have just spoken to Jude Pereira, but this time around, the gentleman sitting next to me is Raja Sega. And uh, believe it or not, he looks young enough to be my son, but he's a very well-known Sri Lankan artist. He's uh, came down to Victoria via New South Wales. He had an art exhibition organized by David Jatilika. The art exhibition went very well. At, uh, it was held at uh, Walawa, or the bungalow as we know it. And um, I requested uh, his company so that I could have a chat with him. So, Mr. Raja Siga, nice welcome to, see you. to the program. Yeah. You don't mind if I call you Raja? Yes, I'll be happy if you call me Raja. Okay. Raja, um, let's, let's start at the beginning. At what age did you start or did you think that you had it in you to become an artist? I had no idea of becoming an artist. Even in the school days, my, I didn't do any art, I didn't do any paintings in the art classes. And my teachers also, art teachers also thought that I can't paint. So I also thought, I also can't, I also thought that I can't paint. Then I got a job, I was very, rather good in science subjects, mm -hmm. especially chemistry and biology, mathematics, everything. So I got a job in a company which manufactures frozen foods and soft drinks. That is called Elephant House. Yeah, no Elephant House, still yeah. on coal stores. Still on coal stores. And I was, uh, I joined the, uh, after school I joined the quality control department. Then uh, it came under the factory. Mm. So the factory manager for some reason he didn't like me. <laughs> so he chased me out of the factory. Mm. And I came and worked in the office mm. where I met, I was doing a bit of public relation work. Mm -hmm. Where I met affluent society, especially the ladies from Columbus 7, mm. who are our normal customers. And they complain, they come and complain. I had to write down the complaints and do. I had to rectify it. Mm. Some overcharges in the accounts, or some things are not delivered. Usually I get the scolding from them. Mm -hmm. They think I'm the owner of the elephant house, they scold me. <laughs> I enjoyed it. <laughs> then uh, I had to write to them and they liked my handwriting. Mm -hmm. Some some ladies were so fascinated with my handwriting. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile I made my own greeting cards. Mm -hmm. Because those days the greeting card was copies of the Western themes. Mm -hmm. So I portrayed the day-to-day -day life of Sri Lanka. And my card was uh, so they were very interested in my card and one lady took, uh, wanted uh, to make about 50 cards. Mm. But I was not a professional card maker. Mm. Anyhow, she was forcing me to do some cards and I made some cards and she took me to the Oberoi bookshop, mm. those cards, for commercial purpose. Mm. Maybe the Oberoi bookshop came under her. Mm. Then the card was selling very well. Then she perceived me to make more and more cards. This I I got into the scene of art. So you are actually a, a self-made artist. Yes. People made me a painter. No, okay. That's always the way it is. You know, you do when you have hidden talents. Mm. It takes somebody. Well, not only just takes somebody. It takes somebody with guts. Yes. To transport your mind mm -hmm. into what the future has to offer. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I guess uh, at that 
point in time you must have been a young man in 1920? Yes. Okay. So you are now, uh, I would say, looking at you almost 50? <laughs> no, no, I'm very old. <laughs> I was born in 1951. Okay, so you're 70 years yeah, old. Yeah, 70 72. years old. Uh, don't worry about it because I'm much older than you are. Um, no, no, I'm, that's okay. Yeah, that's nature, you are with, accept to it. <laughs> with uh, age comes experience. And not only just a normal, let, let me draw a naked lady. Mm -hmm. uh, you, to draw that naked lady, you have, your mind works in such a way that you can make it very attractive or you can make it disrespectful to put it mildly so that is the talent that uh, comes out of your fingers right as you're drawing you did you um, aim to follow the Picasso style of drawing or was that uh, the initial stages yeah still I didn't complete my first answer yeah uh, so while I was making these cards and they were selling very well I could with the demand, I had to print the outline of the cards and get it colored by others. So I was able to meet the demand of the cards. Mm. Then that also so much. Then one one of the customers who bought the card, he wanted a large painting, mm. which he saw in the greeting cards. Mm -hmm. Maybe shepherd man taking the bulls in the evening back home. Oh, okay. So he wanted on a large canvas. I said, sorry sir, I'm not an artist. Don't worry. You do the same card in a large canvas. So I did the card. I did, did the painting. That the first painting. And he bought it and he offered a large sum of money, which was far above my one month salary. Mm -hmm. So little by little, I had to resign from my car. When I was 25 years, I resigned from my company, Cold Source Limited, mm -hmm. and made a serious painting. Mm -hmm. Later, I became a professional painter. So what the question again, sir? Okay, so you, you are now a professional painter yeah. at that stage after having done your first mm -hmm. canvas mm -hmm. and as you said, you sold the canvas for more than what you would normally get a month at Ceylon Coast. Yeah, 30 days. Right. Three days salary is equal to 30 days salary. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now Raja is reasonably set he knows he has the confidence to resign from his job and do art full-time so as you did this did it evolve in your mind that uh, you could follow the Picasso style of doing it I think another Sri Lankan who did follow the Picasso style in the early stages were Senanayaka mm. And there have been very good artists in Sri Lanka, from mm -hmm. Derani Agala to uh, Keith to um, Lionel Wendt. Aubrey Collett. Yeah, yeah Aubrey Collett. Oh, of course, Aubrey was an uh, artist in his own right, but he was more uh, into, um, into sketches. Uh, then there was uh, Bulna, who did Thissahami, the, the cartoon mm -hmm. character. So from the age of say, when you finished your first artwork to now, how many exhibitions have you had? Uh, so far I had 53 exhibitions. 53? Solo exhibitions. Okay. And in Sri Lanka? And group everywhere. Sri yeah. Lanka and other countries. Yeah. Yeah. It's and, all... Yeah, go ahead. And uh, I must say that since I have not been to an art school, mm. You asked me whether I am influenced by Picasso. Mm. Uh, maybe or maybe not, because by, uh, I, as hobby I did accountancy exam, mm. London Economics exam, and mm -hmm. I had to go to the British Council library mm. and spend a lot of time. Mm. I was doing self study. Mm. I, I'm a self study man. Mm. <laughs> then uh, to relax me, I used to go to the reference section of the British Council library and Went through all these art magazines mm. from Vincent Van Gogh, George Braque, mm. Salvador Dali, all that magazines I went. Mm. Mm. And uh, it made me to become a serious painter. That means I must discover my own style mm. to make a mark in my career. Mm. 
so i i developed my own style again since i have not been to art school uh, i can't copy i like to copy sri lankan artist senaga senanayaka mm. but i should not do that because he is so popular mm. if i <laughs> copy him i will get caught mm. <laughs> so yeah. you know what i did i copied a philippine painter <laughs> all right okay. and uh, but m- many artists um, whether they be van gogh or, or, or whoever mm. uh, in their early career mm. they need to have encouragement so they would try to draw uh the Sistine Chapel mm-hmm. painting mm-hmm. they might not get it right or they might get it better mm-hmm. but so that's not a sin mm-hmm. um Vincent van Gogh i mean that that poor man was uh, psychologically unsound mm-hmm. and yet his mind allowed him to do beautiful paintings mm-hmm. right um that's why he's the only one there is a song about <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> van gogh i know uh, the world is so rude to him yes yes yeah. they they call him a mad man and mm-hmm. he had uh, uh, hundreds of paintings completed and he had a very short span mm-hmm. as a as an artist mm-hmm. but uh, is where where are you now uh the artwork that you have recently um published or Uh, shown are they all of uh, modern art or are they more of the old masters no it's all on my own i i de- developed the style uh, the the new, the journalist i write, write it segarism mm. when you google segarism you you can come across some articles mm. and uh, i i was emphasizing on the reflective effect in cubism Mm. reflection mean the when the light travels into different density it reflect mm. so i apply that thing to my painting mm. and and later on it became my own style mm. and i am doing more imaginative scene from okay. dreams more imagination okay so do you concern yourself about brush strokes yes yeah, you do yes yeah. so i don't sketch i straight away sit yeah. in front of the canvas and and you uh, do the brush strokes and color it right so, and there no thinking just so in front of the camera your colors um, intense yes. or are they more hue uh, a hue of uh, colors like van gogh there are you of co- co- colors and a uh, lot of palette palette knife uh, work there mm. i get a thick coat of the paints with color variations mm. I like to do dark color paintings. Mm-hmm. But most of the people they don't like dark color paintings. Yeah. Yeah. But I prefer those. Yeah. Is that the artist in you that want likes the darker colors? You know the the is that uh, art feeling is not a commercial yes, feeling yes. obviously. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But earlier works uh, you can see Rembrandt even Vincent van Gogh they apply dark colors. Mm. I think they must be really enjoying those dark colors. Mm. Mm. And serious painting, I like to do in dark colors. It looks very serious, dark mm. colors. Mm. Yeah. Now, you recently had an exhibition at the Balawa. Yes. And some of them sold very well. And more than that is that I think you could be the first Sri Lankan artist. Mm. to have donated a painting to the National Gallery yeah of Victoria National Gallery of Victoria yeah how did that come about that is through my friend David he happened to meet the curator of the National Gallery of Victoria Mr Wayne uh, so his name is Crotters Crotters mm. I think mm. and uh, he showed him my autobiography book I released my autobiography book mm. and he went through it and he was he was rather satisfied by my work mm. and i sent couple of images to david and mm. he passed on to uh, the curator mm. but the curator said i can't directly give a painting artist can't directly give a painting that's right yeah it's it's, uh, it's a different different it's a secondary market yeah so david david uh, took that painting and he presented the painting mm. the village boutique mm. 
I know it uh, went on well. Yeah, I know another instance where an artist wanted to give the uh, the uh, gallery a painting, mm. and they wouldn't let him do it. So he sold the painting. Um, he sold the painting to another person for one dollar. Mm. Mm. It must have been worth five thousand dollars. Mm. Sold it for one dollar, and the uh, condition of it was that. He would donate it to the, art the national gallery. The, so that happened, and that they're funny, but that, that's the way they do things here. And they are not really keen in getting paintings from the living painters. No, no. Your paintings will be worth a lot more money after you die. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, the other painters we have here, of course, you mentioned Senan, uh, Senanayaka. Senan Senanayaka. Yeah, uh, Ruth Pinto. Uh, Ruth is very good. Uh, then there is Walvin J. Thurin. Now, uh, Walvin J. Thurin was a, a, a pupil of Deraniagala. Just in Deraniagala. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, I actually got Mr. Thurin to do the Sigiri frescoes for me in 1969. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a painting about Ye Big mm -hmm. and I still have it. That is the only Sri Lankan thing that I decided I would have on my wall. Mm -hmm. And so the the frescoes mm -hmm. and he's, he's a wonderful man. Mm -hmm. He did uh, a whole lot of research before he drew the and at the bottom is after Sigiri of frescoes. Mm -hmm. uh, so that they, they think that the woman is topless, but that is, she is not really topless. She's wearing a sheer silk mm -hmm. jacket. Mm -hmm. That's why you get these armbands that mm -hmm. holds the jacket. Mm -hmm. And although you can see the nipples mm -hmm. on her breast, mm -hmm. uh, it is uh, more a case of you, it's a see-through blouse mm -hmm. and then the handmaiden is wearing a darker blouse and mm -hmm. you can see the darker mm -hmm. blouse. So I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, intense uh, liking for paintings. Mm -hmm. So among my paintings at home is I have another one which was a man on top and a man at the bottom sewing, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the mm -hmm old type of timber they used to have. Mm -hmm. One man would be on top and the other man at the bottom. Mm -hmm. and they, yeah, I have one that looks that, like that. And the other one I have is a, a village woman with a, with a pot on top of her mm -hmm. head and a child in her arms. Mm -hmm. And they're my masterpieces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they've come from people. Then I bought them and I love them. Yeah. I have to say congratulations to you on behalf of uh, the Sri Lankan community here. It is not often we get an artist who will come and, and present a bit of art from Sri Lanka to the National Gallery of Victoria. But you have achieved that goal and I'm, I'm so very pleased. And one point I must say, uh, you may have seen the exhibition, they were painting with a lot of soul tags. So those are not really sold. Those are the collection of the uh, paintings which bought long ago mm. in Sri Lanka mm. by the Australians here. Mm. So they have donated the painting to exhibit. Yeah, precisely. So, uh, yes. yes. Yeah. So there I was, must clarify that point. Yeah, there was one that was donated by me as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, uh, and and that was the bounty. And I'm happy to say that uh, I had an exhibition in Sydney. 1990, mm. January I think, mm. and uh, I saw three paintings. Mm. So, uh, from a collector, and I quietly told him that I'm really keen in buying this back. Mm. And he was good enough to sell those three paintings to me. I bought it back. Okay. So I'm taking those three paintings to Sri Lanka back. now. So, are there any of your paintings that uh, Lionel went? Not Lionel Bent. Lionel Bent is not having a collection of paintings, no? no. But National Gallery has a collection yes. of paintings. Yeah. So and there's a Korean museum as a, my painting. Mm, mm, mm. And there are many places. Bank of Ceylon, Central so Bank. Can we see an uh, uh, exhibition coming up at Lionel Bent for you, Seoul? Uh, I, I had an exhibition before coming here. Mm. 
I, I can't say, tell you the date when will be the next exhibition. But there's a Dhaka in Bangladesh, there's an exhibition. Mm. So they have taken three of my paintings to exhibit during December. Mm, mm, mm. I'm coming to Sri Lanka next year. Very good. All right. Uh, it'll be my 80th birthday. Uh -huh. So uh, when I come, I'll, I'll try to look you up. Yes. Maybe. We're having a small gallery at uh, Shangri-La Mall. That's called One Golf Face Mall yeah. at the fifth floor. Yeah. So you can visit that small shop, which is run by my daughter. Okay. So I might be able to pick up one of your little paintings there, providing it's not very expensive. No, we sell all our reproductions, lithographs, yeah. reading cards. So they are selling very well. Yeah. So at, I will at least buy a happy birthday card for myself from there. <laughs> I can make a sketch and give you now if you want, online. Sorry? I can make a sketch and give you now. If on live, if you like. Can you? Yes, definitely. My goodness, yeah. I, ne I never thought that that would happen. I do our usual deep plantation workers. Okay. So, uh, um, When is your birthday, sir? 24th of August. Oh, I see. 24th of August. Next year I'll be 80. Bandhu is only 74. Better not talk about the age. Um, In happy moment. Age is only a number. And uh, my wife keeps saying that I turned 80 about 80 years ago. <laughs> Shall wow. I make this a birthday card? Yes, please. You, you can do anything you like. And I'll, I need the I'll correct spelling. Okay, my my Two? name is Ryle, R-Y-L-E. Uh, Ryle? Yeah. Ryle, that's enough. Okay, uh, Moldrich, M-O-L-D, R-I-C-H. You'll have to sign your name at the bottom because wait, I'm, wait, I'm wait. going to put it into a frame. <laughs> you remember Wag? Hmm. Yeah, I've got a, a sketch done by him and one by Did, Aubrey Collins. Till making the date of birth? 24th of August, 1943. No, 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 I don't know the year. 24th of August? Yeah. April 2022. Thank you. Thank you. I... Tea plantation worker. Can I... Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Instead of a print, you get an original work for a birthday card. <laughs> yes, yeah. I've got an 80th birthday card on my 79th birthday. <laughs> Look, I'll, can I say thank you very much for being with us. I wish you all the very best. And I'm sure Bandha joins me in saying so. Please continue with your artwork. Thank you. And congratulations. Artists are good people. And thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity. It's, it's a great pleasure. It's a great pleasure. Thank you. That folks brings us to the end of the interview. And I'd like to th thank uh, Bandhu Disanaika from, for being um, chief cook and bottle washer. He, from, from time to time, uh, I'm able to do this and it gives me a pleasure and my and present. my special thank goes to Bandhu Desanayake who met me in a party yeah. and persuaded me to come here yeah. and uh, Ryle Mondich also for the pleasant interview and the originator of my visit Mr. Ajit Jayatilakar. Ajit Jayatilakar.
who did everything for me. Yeah, David Jayatilak is a lovely man. Not many people appreciate it, but David's a real true Sri Lankan, isn't he, Pandu? Yes. Yeah. He he uh, he doesn't make a big deal, but you approach him and say, David, I'm trying to do this, and no problem, bring it here, all. <laughs> and uh, he's a great man. Okay, thank you. Okay, sir. Wish will burn